Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'd like to cover off adding a HP Nimble storage array into Active Directory. So let's jump into it. So I'm just going to log on, accept the usage warning splash screen, head over to administration, down to security. And before we do this, just a couple of things. We have a user and a group. The definition of a user is a local user only. And the definition of a group is Active Directory only. And as you can see, if you click on that and try and add a group, it then tells you basically go to administration, security, Microsoft Active Directory to join it to the domain. So let's do that. So we'll head over to Microsoft Active Directory, enter in the FQDN. Net, uh, net BIOS name has already been populated in my case, which is correct. Provide credentials. Now, these cre credentials have to have access to be able to add a computer into Active Directory. So I'm using the Active Directory domain administrator account password. And then from here, you've got a couple of options. You can use the default Active Directory OU, which is generally computers, unless you've changed that. In my case, I'm going to set it manually, just so you can see what that looks like. So I've created a OU already called TechVids Storage. And then lastly, the computer name of this actual array. So I'm going to call it TechVids Nimble and then hit the join button and there we have it it's successfully added into active directory and from here we can then leave the domain test the connection or disable this so i'm just going to click on test connection to make sure it works and as you can see it says it's successfully joined the domain now if we head over to the active directory machine just so you can see and then here's my OU that I've created if I refresh this you should then see hopefully there we have it my computer that I've just added now while I'm on the topic of adding a nimble array into Active Directory I'll just ju jump back over to my Windows machine and what I'm going to do is just show you what, what it looks like if I click on Leave Domain. So it's as simple as clicking on the Leave Domain button. Providing, again, domain credentials. And then clicking on Leave. And there we go, it's now successfully left the domain. And if we just again jump back jump back over to the, the Active Directory machine, and then I'll refresh this, hopefully this computer will now gone. Brill, and there we have it. So thanks for watching guys. Again, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe.